All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we are gonna be taking a look at probably one of the dumbest clips I've ever seen, man. From like one of these Twitch e-girls or whatever you really wanna call them. I know there's like 700 nicknames for them now, you feel me? But like, uh, I, we've seen a lot of goofy clips, right? We've seen a lot of, let's just call, say it, stupid clips from dumb people on here, right? We've had Twitch streamers basically saying like, if you can't donate $5 on my stream, you know, you suck, I hate you, you're poor, whatever, right? We've had all kinds of different clips, right? But this is one, it's almost like she attempted to world record speed run any percent making everybody hate her. It, it like, it's crazy. It took a minute and 16 seconds for this person to destroy all reputation, destroy all credibility, destroy anything, you know, like it's insane. But this clip has been going viral on Twitter and rightfully so, because like people have been seeing this and just being like, what? You know, confused because anyone who sees this can see from a million miles away that this is just like the dumbest take ever. Like there's like six different stupid takes in the same video. It's crazy. But we have another one of these uh, Twitch e-girls who have gotten way too confident for their own good. You know, they've maybe been hyped up a little too much or whatever, right? They, they, they got a little, a little high off the clout, you know, from basically doing nothing except for being attractive on camera. That's the real problem with a lot of these clips you know it's like these women kind of think they can just skirt by because they're attractive right like just because they're they're good looking or they're in a bikini or whatever and they got a couple simps in the chat getting fucking worked up and excited that you know they can just behave and say however they want do whatever they want and then they're just completely stunned and confused when reality hits them in the face and unfortunately for for her reality is going to be hitting her in the face in this video guys so first triple upload day in a while i dropped three new videos today make sure to leave a like on this one if you do enjoy but with that being said, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and react to it, man. Thank you for that bit. You're entertaining, but just sitting and reading child's boring play a game or react. I hope that you get ran over. I in a in a game, of course, like you know the warthogs and Halo. Like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, I'm tired. I'm tired of you ugly chatters. Like, I'm actually annoyed. All right, so someone in the chat recommends, like, hey, yo, play a video game. It's kind of boring sitting here watching you do nothing but exploit your cleavage on stream for views. You know, we want to see you play a video game or, or, like, be talented. You know what I mean? Do something that involves you having some sort of skill, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, there's a lot of people, for whatever fucking reason, who go on Twitch to watch bikini streams and, and, and donate to these people. I don't know why. If it's for the sexual gratification, it's like, dude, just go to the hub. You feel me? Like... I go on Tinder, you know? I don't know why you're going to Twitch for this kind of stuff, but, you know, uh, they try to skirt by doing this all the time. These girls, you know, they wear bikinis and they think that that'll just carry them. And for some of them, yeah, it does, you know? I guess if you're attractive enough, you can get enough people to donate or subscribe to your channel or whatever. But people in her chat, they wanted her to actually do something. And, of course, that makes them stupid, ugly chatters. Because how dare you ask your streamer that you're watching to actually create content, you feel me? Now, I don't have a problem with just chatting streams you know, people who go on Twitch and the only thing they do is talk to their chat. I don't have a problem with that. But when your audience is like, hey, we want to see you play a game, either respectfully decline it or play the game. There's a bunch of different options that don't involve you calling them stupid, ugly chatters. And like for like, let, let's go ahead and psychoanalyze this a little bit here. Dr. Optimus is out here now. You're going to notice that like that's her go to defense is to just like insult, you know, because it's probably one of these people, you know, looks carried them through life. You know, they're in high school school just because they were a pretty girl they got preferential treatment or whatever you know just because they're a pretty girl on stream they've gotten preferential treatment from the chat and from simps donating and whatever right can't blame women who you know use their looks for their own benefit i can't blame them but when that's the only thing you have to offer and like there's nothing else there's no personality there's no skill there's no like humor anything like that then what the fuck really are you at the end of the day right but that's just the beginning by the way there, there's still 45 more seconds of shit to react to so play a game do i look like a bitch that plays a game you got me fucked up just shut up no i'm not i'm not doing it i'm not doing it today like i literally do i look like a bitch that plays a game says the woman who just referred to halo's warthog vehicles has a zelda book and a zelda plushie in the background on her fucking desk or dresser or shelf or whatever has a pokemon pokeball up there too you know has a secret lab gaming chair yeah you, you don't look like anyone who'd play video games you know that, that that's beyond you right how dare anyone ask you to play 
a video game woman who owns multiple video game franchises merchandise? Why, why would anyone ever ask you to play a video game on a website that was designed and built specifically for people to stream themselves playing video games on? That's that's just unfathomable to me, man. Like, you, you can really understand why she's upset here, right? I, I just want to point something else out, right? Uh, her voice. Th this may be a little judgmental or whatever, but... I feel like with these kinds of situations, you can kind of like indirectly tell someone's IQ, right? Because let's just be honest, she has kind of like that dumb girl voice, you know, like that dumb girl inflection. Family Guy kind of covered this well. I, I cringe that I'm referencing Family Guy, I guess. Jillian, Brian's old girlfriend who is stupid, right? You know, Stewie had this joke where he said all she does is talk like this, like she's leading everything into a question. That's how she talks, right? And like, you'll notice that women who often talk like this are just complete fucking imbeciles, right? Like they're just stupid. They just kind of go around talking like this and like, they don't know how to like naturally lead their voice when they talk. And she's got like the same kind of thing going on. It's like the dumb blonde voice, you know? I just wanted to point that out because, you know, you hear someone talk like that and you can like honestly kind of tell like, yeah, there's not too much going on behind those eyes, right? Man, we're in a big brain power saver mode today, right? I got fucking AIDS from f all the chatters. Like chatters that I thought were not mentally retarded. But look at them be full mentally retarded. I, I, I don't want to be mean here, but this might be the most ironic calling of another person mentally retarded I've ever seen. Like, she looks like she couldn't draw a line between two dots, and she's calling other people stupid, you know? Like, this is the type of person who can't do, like, two times two in their head calling other people stupid and retarded. It's incredible, and she before that she says, oh, all the chatters gave me AIDS. Like, how many chatters can you really have? You have 14 subscribers on Twitch. Oh, I'm sorry, 14 boyfriends on on Twitch. How many people could really be chatting? You feel me? Like how many uh, she's acting as if like people are requesting her to play video games to the point to the degree that it's just like completely destroyed the chat. You know what I mean? Just like hundreds of people when it's been like maybe two or three people. Like it, it's just it's so ironic. It's just so ironic man. So within the matter of a minute she's insulted her viewers several times over. Has just been completely fucking rude to them. Like she's not even being nice. That's the thing. Like it wasn't like everyone else in the chat was fine or whatever and then there was like this one troll that came along and then she started like yelling at him or whatever, you know, oh, ah, blah, blah, don't ask me to play a video game, yada, yada. She's just being an asshole to everybody in the chat, which is crazy because who the fuck wants to sit there and watch that? Like, dude, if you're sitting there and allowing a streamer to subject you to that kind of verbal shit just because they're attractive, you need to reevaluate your priorities in life, my boy. I, I, I just don't get it. There's so many better people you could be watching, you know? There's so many good streamers out there that you could be, you know, consuming their content content who would actually appreciate you who take their viewers like I guess recommendations into account and actually like try to interact with them in a way that isn't completely degrading and insulting but instead of like going and watching a streamer who will do good for them these people are just sitting here allowing this woman to talk to them like they're lesser than I, I just don't get it dude like it, I just don't get it, man. Like, what kind of simp sits through this shit? Honestly, bro. Because you're sitting here letting some random idiotic woman on the internet run you down in the chat calling you names and shit when you could be just spending your time doing so much better stuff. It, it, I don't get it, but... Yes, you're in a secret lab share with... Okay, can I just say one thing? If you're a man and you use the frowny crying face, you're gay. Like, I've always felt like that. Like, men aren't supposed to really feel, like, sad. Like... Back in the war days, you used to have to kill people. Why the fuck are you sad? Like, I'm the emotional one. Why the fuck are you crying? All right, now obviously, this one might be the most ridiculous fucking part of the entire situation, right? So just a little PSA to all my fellas out there. Uh, don't use the crying frowny emoji on your phone because that makes you gay. So just, I'm just thinking of all the things now that I've heard women tell us are gay, right? It's gay to eat popsicles. It's gay to eat dessert after dinner. It's gay to cry. It's gay to use emojis. It's gay to use the sad frowny face emoji. It, it's just, it's also hilarious too, because I'm, I'm gonna go off the deep end here and assume that this is a woman who I would think probably supports like LGBTQ plus people, right? Like the majority I feel like of Americans. I, I don't know if she's American or not. I'm just gonna assume because most of the shit I see online comes from America, but 
most Americans and most people in general now kind of support LGBTQ here in the West, right? Aren't fine with gay people and whatnot. It's insane that they then turn around and use gay as an insult, right? This is like women's gotcha card, you know? Anytime that they want to like disrespect a man or they want to insult a man, they always go to homosexuality, which is insane to me because once again, you would think that they'd be supportive of these movements, but then they turn around and they use it as an insult and make it out like it's a horrible thing if you are, like if you're gay, I guess, I don't know. Me personally, I don't really care like what emojis a dude uses as a dude because I really could care less. Like it's a picture on a phone. It's 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 essentially hieroglyphics. It's really not that deep. Uh, but yeah, you're gay. Uh, it, back in the day, back in the war days, she says, as if war hasn't been an ever evolving human concept that has taken place since the founding of humanity and is still notably continuing today. Back in the war days, though, you had to kill people, you know? Well, if you've ever met a veteran, and I'm assuming you probably have, I, I would hope that you have, like, at least one person in your life who actually served their country, a whole lot of them cry. A whole lot of them do. They have this thing called PTSD, where, you know, killing people and going through the traumatic experiences they had to go through fucks them up emotionally. But they better not cry, because that might make them gay, you know? If a World War II vet who had to shoot 13 Germans in the fucking head on the beaches of Normandy, if he were to cry or use the frowny face crying emoji, it makes him gay. Like, why are you crying? She's the emotional one. The sad reality is, man, this is just how a lot of women think. I, I don't want to say most women, because I feel like that's actually unfair to women. There are a lot of women out there that have the emotional intelligence to realize that men aren't just hunks of meat, and they have emotions too. But, like, she clearly doesn't you know because she's a complete fucking idiot but th the truth is a lot of women feel this way man and, and that's what sucks as a guy is like people really think like as a man you're not supposed to show emotion like you can't feel shit you know what i mean as if having emotions isn't like a completely natural and common thing so obviously she's gone viral for all the wrong reasons people are tearing her apart you know she's getting just completely ratioed and destroyed all over social media and and rightfully so because at, at a point when you like this was a minute and 17 second long clip and within that, she managed to just be one of the most insufferable pieces of shit I've ever seen on Twitch. Let's just call it how it is. This is someone streaming with zero personality, zero talent, zero humor, zero real world knowledge to share. The only quality she has is her body. If it weren't for fat deposits on her chest and winning the genetic lottery in her face, she would have absolutely nothing. And, and that's what's like the most funny about this whole situation. She doesn't even realize it. She, she has no idea that like when she turns like, you know, hits her 30s or whatever and her looks start to fade away, she's got to live the rest of her life just being fucking nothing. Because she never developed as a person. She never got any skills. She never did anything noteworthy. She sat in her room on Twitch calling people retards and saying men shouldn't cry because she's been passed through life and passed around in life because of her looks. And and I, I'm not insulting women who look good, you know? Like, if you look good and you can do, you know, Twitch streaming or OnlyFans or whatever it is and make money off of it, fine. You know, I, I'm not mad about that. That's cool. But when you get on your stream and you degrade the people who make your stream what it is and the people who are paying your bills and allowing your content to thrive in the online community and you're just saying outrageous shit for the sake of saying outrageous shit without a single thought in your brain, without Without any neurons in your brain firing that's when i have a problem with it that's when i think you should just shut the fuck up now the sad reality of it is man there's gonna be a lot of simps on the internet who probably end up just fucking following her because oh what well, i, I want to be one of her boyfriends i'm gonna sub to her twitch bro and you know this happens every time one of these clips goes viral you know they, they get like two weeks of clout off of it and then you never hear from them ever again ever again because it's almost like actually creating content that's quality and people enjoy is infinitely more superior than the flash in the pans that they create with these stupid fucking clips so to whoever this streamer is out there i hope you enjoy the 13 seconds of attention you got because it's not gonna last so anyway with that being said thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel follow me over on twitter and twitch at sub to optimus make sure to check out shoptimus down below and until my next video guys this is optimus well talking about this dumb chick and signing out